All right, guys, it's Sprout here back with another loadout video. Now, on this one, I've went for the Deluge and the DMR 14. Not guns I would use ever, if I'm honest, but I wanted to try new things. So, I went for what I think is the decent attachments for it. Now, obviously, I went for a rare dot, and I'm already bothered with the stats on it, hence the green one. Suppressor, I went for floating bow and destructive shooting, obviously, for the scatter and. Uh, Melting people's armor essentially. Got narcotic ammo with a slowdown and bursting bullet. So, obviously, if I do melt the armor, it'll do a little bit more damage. Accurate, I've went for memory alloy, which not that I really jump much, but the moving scatter penalty obviously going to help with that quite a bit. Level two ammo and for my sniper, but obviously a DMR. Went for a four times scope with all three on motion detect stuff like that. Muzzle break, large caliber for the headshot damage, increased the range of guns as well with a longer barrel. Um, extended heated bullets for the increased penetration. Headshots will apply a burn status with WP warhead. And I've went for level four ammo on that one. And I've got a full mag and an extra full mag for the DMR 40 in there. I don't plan to use it that much. Now what I'm going to do is for this video guys, I'm going to go on Solo V squads on E-Agent. Because someone asked us today, why didn't I do the last loadout video on E-Agent? So I thought today I will do it. So anyway guys, let's jump into the match and see how it goes. Right guys, I finally got into this any agent call. Now, I've got a feeling that there's a couple of, uh, especially the, the good players from the Discord so in this match, because they were all queuing at the same time as me, so I'm going to have to be uh, moderately careful I don't get killed instantly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the back here. Yeah, because there they are there, look. Crap, here they go. Shot on him. My MZ Vipers. I saw him on the chat before I joined the match, so that's one at least. Now I know he had a he had a squad with him. It's where they've gone. I don't particularly want to risk looting his body. But that Mark Twelve, or whatever it's called, Mark Fourteen. What is it again? DMR 14 did quite well on that little uh, shoot there, I must admit. I'm going to go through here. Someone right there. Oh, I'm dead. Straight away, Martha Rani. Damn it. Okay, the SMG Deluge. Not working. I'll say that he's in T he's in golden T5. I mean, did I really expect anything else using tier four bullets? Never mind. I had level two bullets. I did two hundred and twenty seven damage like but Alright, I'm gonna have to rethink me, load out a bit and try again, guys. Right guys, so that last loadout didn't work out too well, but however, I did like the DMR 14, so what I've done is I've made up an identical DMR 14 with the same attachments, but instead of the Deluge, I've went for an MG249 with, of course, the light stock and lateral rib fit, so that my movement speed isn't reduced, because obviously you run like a, a, a slower person with this on. I've also went for some TR5 armor, because obviously, if that's what everybody else is doing, maybe Zash should be doing it as well. I've went for a bit better boots and a bit better backpack, just see, I'll probably, probably just end up giving this to someone, but I think I've got enough ammo. I might get some more level 4762 before I do start the match, but we'll see how it goes this time. I'm going to course queue for Agent again on Solo V, Solo v Trios, see how it goes. I've also took some level 2 ordinary bullets just in case I run out of the level 4. Actually, I don't think, have I got any level 3? That might be easier. I mean, that's not really enough, is it? Anyway, guys. Let's queue up and see how it goes. Right, guys, I'm finally back in the match. Obviously, I've came on my MG249. I find these to be very underrated gear, guns. I don't know why more people don't use them. Now, I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm a little bit of a hacking talk. I'm at re risky containment, and I know this is a quite popular area for quite a lot of players, so I'm going to be a bit careful. That is assuming people sport next to us. Like, oh, hello. I've just bought loads of that as well, and then I find some. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit daft. Now, I don't think I'm going to go right into Risky, because that's when the danger starts for me, anyway. I think I'll just stay outside for now. 
see if I can get a glimpse of anyone, but I just love the fact you can put it on the MG, the, uh, the stock, whatever it is, and it just makes your running speed the same as if you weren't holding it. I just think it's so awesome like that. But I don't even know the spawns around here, I don't know where people are coming from, so I'm just going to have to be extra vigilant. Watch for people coming, see if I can get people who potentially camp in the stairs, but I, I sh probably shouldn't be running around in the open. I actually want to use my gun before I get killed. Preferably. But I think I will keep away from risky containment. I'm probably going to go to Ward Centre Monument towards the end as well, when I can't escape, see what I can uh, get around there. I don't usually come into games in my Aegis armor, I usually keep hold of it, but I thought why not, just for the just for the sake of it. Why have it if I don't use it, you know what I mean? I don't know if I should pick up that, uh, I'll, tell you what, I'll drop that one bullet, and I'll pick up that just in case my helmet gets damaged. Because one bullet can't make that much difference, especially in an MG, I mean takes that long enough to reload, I don't think the one bullet's going to make much difference to anything. Now I haven't got it set for frontal conflict, so I'll have to be careful and remember to open my scope before I shoot people. I'm not sure if this looks looted or not. No, it's not. I didn't want to bring my silent boots though, because I, th I figured if I bring them, I'll forget I've got them on, and then just lose them. And that's like obviously 15 grand down the down the drain straight away. I don't know why I picked that up. Uh, can't really drop anything. I've got enough rejuvenations for the moment anyway. It's not really consum consumables I need anyway. Obviously I have to remember that I am on solo the trails as well, so if I do see people and think, oh I can take them on, I have to think again, think twice a bit, thinking, well harder, and there might be two more around the corner, two more behind them, or even one flanking us, which happens quite a lot. I've got North East Fields, don't think anyone would have went here already to camp, but I will have a look. You never know. No, I didn't think so. I know some people go to these places early on, thinking, right, I'll sit here the whole game, catch people as they're trying to escape. But this entire loadout has been about the DMR 14. I probably should have just used an AR 17, if I'm honest, but I wanted to try a different main weapon. And at least I managed to get a kill with the DMR, so I'm happy for that. In the last match that was. Before the deluge completely let us down. Which, to be quite honest, I came in with level 2 bullets. I probably should have came in with higher than that. So it's probably my own fault. two times, I might use it on my next DR-17 build, if I've still got it, of course, I might not escape yet. What have they got on? Are they silent boots? I'll pick them up, waterproof style won't be that bad. For a runabout boot, that one. I'm not sure if I saw footprints on the map there. I probably didn't. Is that someone there? Or is it just my eyes? The way the window was moving there, as I moved along, looked like someone's head bobbing up and down, but it mustn't have been. I'm surprised I haven't run into anyone yet. Like I see, they're probably all in risky containment. Can't be anybody hanging about here that I can see. Of 
course, there's no way of telling really because if they're prone on the floor, I'll probably not see them unless I run over the top of them. And if I run over the top of them, they'll kill us. So it's one of them things, really. Do I risk it and push up this hill and hope there's no one camping there? Or do I wait until someone starts shooting? Because we've got the staging area as well. And of course, if a lot of people spawned there, there would have been a massive battle. But I would have been too far away to hear it. So I don't know if it's worth checking it out. So what I'll do is I'll check if the doors are open. Shut, shut, shut. Odd. Very odd. Can't really tell over there if them doors are open or not. So I think the best thing to do would be to run over that station facility and see if anyone's there. <laughs> I'm going to run through a depository here. Because obviously, I just want to see if I can hear any footsteps upstairs mainly. So I see all these doors are shut. Empty. It's an empty match. Nope. Don't need PVC plastic. Don't need any of that. Oh, someone's here. I think they're upstairs. No, they're out, they're outside or upstairs. The dead body there. There they are. They might have sound, so I know they might be coming. Alright, I'm not going to be a sitting duck waiting for them to push us one way or the other. it and get to a better position first because they might be going for the high ground to try and get a better view of us it's probably what I would do if I'm honest oh, crap alright then well that's that, that's me whole gear going didn't even get to shoot me going <coughs> level 3 bullets got us in a couple of seconds Didn't stand a chance. That was just straight through me TF5 armor, oh, you know what I mean? Never mind. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, as much as I didn't, <laughs> uh, do leave a like on the video and make sure you do subscribe. Hopefully I find some decent loadouts and some decent armor that I do actually like. And we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.